All right, everybody, so today I've got a very weird coolant leak to show you. So this is a Willys pickup, but the engine is a 318 Dodge engine. And the leak, if we go under the truck, you can see by this motor mount, it would drip down. In this motor mount you can see it's wet so I figured it was coming out from above the motor mount so I actually put a jack under the engine took this motor mount off to see what was up behind to see if there's anything up behind here in the block causing it to come out right here then I found it was running it was dripping here what it's doing is running down the pan coming out to the front of the block coming out of this freeze plug right in the center of it I've never seen a freeze plug leak like this before so I thought this would be an interesting one to show you and how I found it so let's go back up top I've got this radiator Harbor Freight radiator pressure test kit. So in here we have all the assortments that you possibly need. So for my truck, since it's a standard radiator, I'm going to use this and this and this pulp. What's neat about this is you can find a coolant leak without running the engine and getting everything hot, possibly sticking your hand in a fan while it's running. So you can actually pressurize the system and it puts the same amount of pressure as if the engine was running, but it's stone cold and you're not going to get injured at all. And even if a hose does blow, it's not hot coolant. It's going to possibly go all over the place too. So the way this works is I just take the cap off. This is my adapter that I need. This is going to sit in here and there's a hole through the center of it where you're going to pressurize the system and it will keep a seal from going into the overflow tank also. So this has two little clips that clip onto here to hold it on. And the way this works is thread this in. Get it somewhat close. these under the radiator support. Tightening our knob pushes this down. It's putting a seal on the system. Now we take the pump part, quick connect fitting, goes on here. We're going to pump this up till it's right at the top of the Blue going into the red, it's about 15 pounds before it goes into the red, so you don't want to blow a heater core out or something like that. So just simply pump this up. Okay, that's 15, so we can just let that sit there. Watch this gauge for a minute holding steady so you know you don't have a big leak all right so let's go under the front of the engine where this freeze plug is located is right 
on the front of the block, kind of by the balancer and everything. You can see it's wet in that area, so what I like to do is take some brake cleaner, since it dries quickly, soak this area, and then dry it off with compressed air so that it dries the area and then we can see where the leak's coming from. So you can see that stuff dries off the leak. It dries off the area pretty good. Now you can just focus on Letting that pressure sit there and wait for it to start dripping. Now we have to knock that freeze, well, drain the coolant, knock that freeze plug out, go get a new one and put it in. All right, so I got the coolant drained out of this thing. Pulled the plug on the radiator. I got the new freeze plug from O'Reilly's. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna, it's a 13, 16 socket. So we have a two foot extension on there. a little thumb wheel or actually the end of a ratchet so put this on here and protect the end of the socket extension tap on this a little bit and try to just break the seal on that freeze plug once we get a push back just a little bit I'll turn it sideways and then pull it out with a pair of pliers hopefully go. So I ended up putting enough of a bend on it with the vice grips to be able to just pull it out with the magnet. Clean this thing up and let's see you can see where it was leaking. So it looks like there is a, a crack in there. Let's put a little liquid in it and see if it leaks. Let's drain the bench. is leaking through. All right, so I'm gonna break clean this up really good and then get it dry. glue this
breeze plug in. I got some of this gasket shellac. It's kind of like a molasses type looking stuff. I'll put some of this stuff around the hole. Good coating of it on the freeze plug itself. I'll let that set up until tomorrow and then add the coolant back into it. I'll put the radiator plug back in. Mixing coolant. I always keep an empty gallon jug around. It's cleaned out. So, always use distilled water in your cooling system. Don't use your tap water because it has all kinds of junk in it that's going to mess up your system. What I do is I buy a concentrate. It's only a dollar more and you get twice as much out of it after you mix it. So 50-50, distilled water and coolant. So I like to put the water in first. So I'll fill this up halfway. Then Take your water, pour it in here. That gives us a perfect 50 50 mix. Actually, what I like to do is write on it right now so I don't forget. 50 50 mix. And it's April of 2022, so four of 2022. So now we're going to use this funnel kit I got off of Amazon, I think. Probably 30 35 dollars. Make all these attachments. Let's see what's going to be closest. Probably that one. This one's too small. This one's too small. That's got threads in it. So we'll take this. We'll see if that will work. That'll give us a seal down inside there. Okay, you can put your funnel on there. Now we'll fill it up. All right, so I'm going to start the truck, put the heater on to get it running through the heater core. And we'll have to let this thing idle for a while to warm up. like self-burping now that's why I like this big clear funnel you can watch what's going on
nice for the self burping you can really see what's going on and how much air comes out of these systems is unbelievable all right so i got no more bubbles through a couple of fan cycles there so we'll put this in here Let's just pull this out without spilling a whole lot. A little bit. Not much. Start it back up, see how the freeze plug is doing. So the freeze plug is nice and dry. We've got plenty of heat in the cab. Now I'll go over what the cost was for all of this. Here's the prices and what it cost me to do this job. The radiator pressure kit from Harbor Freight was $90. The funnel kit I got off of Amazon or eBay uh, was about $30. The freeze plug was $2. Gasket shellac was $7. Uh, two gallons of the Unmixed coolant was $35 and distilled water was a dollar a gallon, so two dollars for that. So total if you didn't have all the the pressure kit and the funnel kit ahead of time is 166, but other than that it would have been about $45, $50 to do this otherwise. And the time including taking out the engine mount it was about three hours altogether. All right, so let's see if the Napa website has any help on with how much this would cost if we had to have it done at a shop. So we're gonna go into our repair services, repair estimator. This is a 98 Dodge Ram pickup. Ram fifteen hundred. Come down here to powertrain engine transmission, and the only thing I found was coolant leak diagnostic. There isn't one for putting in a new freeze plug, so uh, just a coolant leak diagnostic diagnosis is sixty-two to seventy-nine dollars, and then you would have the labor to you know get the part out fix drain the coolant add new coolant so this is another job doing it by yourself you will probably save yourself a lot of money